Hello, Cancers. This is you versus them for March 10th through the 18th. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. <clears throat> Let's see. How did you feel about this person in the relationship? Ace of Swords. Hmm. I think you felt like it was real. It was an honest relationship um, where you could share with this person. You could express your thoughts here. You felt like it was going somewhere. I don't think you were like all head over heels for this person when you met them. I think they just kind of, you know, you guys clicked. Mentally. <clears throat> How did they feel about cancer? How did they feel about cancer? Nine of Cups. They felt like you were happy. You were a happy person when they met you. And I think that you fulfilled something in them. Like um, they were attracted to you. You had them on an emotional level. They had you more so um, as far as like conversation. Uh, I feel like this person was excited about you. You were everything that they wanted. That Piscean energy. They wanted you. <clears throat> what is Cancer's current situation? Cancer's current situation. The sun. I feel like you guys are taking a chill pill. Um, and I think, you know, you are a confident person. But um, I think you're happy for the most part. But I think that there's something that you feel truly enlightened about. I feel like um, very smart. I'm feeling very intellectual. But you're just kind of taking a time out to like reflect on things and really um, get in touch with, with what it is that you need from here on out. <clears throat> Leo energy there. What's currently going on with the other person? What's currently going on with them? Something flipped over there. Card that flipped over was the Eight of Swords. I don't know why my camera freezes up, but it does. It's, it's I don't know. Anyway. Um, but they're constantly thinking about and comparing other things to you other people to you, other situations to you, and how happy you made them. They are constantly in search of that and want that back. Um, you are so very heavily on their mind. They cannot get you off their mind. It's what I'm getting here. That Gemini energy there. <clears throat> what is the influence here for Cancer? Two of Swords. a lot of you guys are trying to make a decision about this person because the two of swords is that Libra energy is like um, thinking about something and not making like knowing what you want to do but really having a hard time deciding that you're going to do it <laughs> you know um, wanting the other person to make the first move, not really wanting to lose control in this situation, lose the upper hand in this situation is what I'm feeling here. But there is something that's weighing on you, weighing heavily on you, and I feel like you're not budging one way or the other. And I think that's why I like the meditation, the, um, you know, just staying in this, this stasis and not doing anything currently. It's like you're really trying to decide what is best for you. What should you do? Should you reach out? Should you make first contact? Should you wait for them to make first contact? Um, and I feel like that's where you're at right now. I think your ego is in the way of you making um, contact with this person for sure. You're very strong. Very strong. I feel like there's something that this person has done that has disappointed you. <clears throat> What's influencing them? What's influencing that other person? 
Seven of Wands. Hmm. I think this person feels like this is Leo energy. They feels like they feels like they feel like whatever it is, whatever behaviors they've exhibited, they feel like they were justified in doing so. Um, they have a strong uh, what do you, what is it? Both of you are very strong, but this person wears their heart on their sleeve way more, I feel. But I also feel like they're stubborn. I feel like, um, even though they want to give in, they won't because that's what they decided to do. And in their head they feel like you know they're justified in behaving the way that they behave or doing what they're doing not doing anything at all whatever it is they're justified because they're sticking to their guns but I can see that it is damn near killing them to stick to their guns they probably told themselves I'm not going to contact cancer cancer needs to contact me but I see you here like, mm, you know, in your own zone, like, no, mm -mm. no, I'm not going to contact you. You need to reach out. You need to make advance with me. What's coming in for cancer? What's coming in for cancer? Seven of Wands. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> There you are. Both of you. Mm-hmm. Seven of Wands. Both of you are coming with the Seven of Wands. Very strong, stand your ground. Um, I'm not budging from what it is that I believe in. I'm going to get my point across. Yeah. And that's where you both are. It's like um, you're at a standstill here. <clears throat> coming in for them the full Aries energy either this person is gonna get to a point where they just feel so outdone and 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 so foolish for um, not doing anything to change this or either this person is going to step out on faith and actually try to change this and start over. I think they're waiting for you to give, but it's driving them crazy. It's not driving you crazy. It's driving them crazy to hold out. There's a part of them that wants to start over. Um, just kind of say, you know what, this is not working. I may as well give up. I may as well do something else and leave cancer alone. There's a part of them that's saying that. I just don't feel like they're going to do that. I think they're going to feel more so that, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to, you know, just be the one to say, I'm sorry. I'm going to be the one to like, you know, open up conversation because I can't see them holding out much longer because they have to do something to release this eight of swords energy because uh, that's not, that's not healthy and that doesn't feel good. <clears throat> what can cancer expect from this person? What can cancer expect from this person? Mm. Seven of Pentacles. That they'll still invest. They're still here. Taurus energy. They're still here. They still want um, what they want. And what they want is you. They're still waiting on you. They'll be here. <clears throat> what can this person expect from cancer? What can they expect from cancer? 
the world. Cancer has been through some shit. And Cancer has learned a lot of lessons. It's like you're seasoned. And no game that they can play is going to phase you. You guys are ready to start over. You are ready to start over. I see a lot of you like getting back with this person. Because I feel like you are their teacher. You are their karma. You're teaching their ass a lesson. You see the fool there? And the fool here? This is the end of the tarot. This is the beginning. You're teaching their ass a lesson. Good for you. <laughs> anyway, I love this. So, I will be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.